is the video podcast for The Power of Praying for Your Adult Children by Stormy Omardian. This is episode two, Praying for Your Adult Children to Understand God's Purpose for Their Lives. Today I see a rapidly spreading epidemic among many adult children, which is confusion about what their purpose is in life. One of the things contributing to such confusion is that they are getting far more input from the world than they are from God. The ways of the world are often confusing, while God's ways are clear. God is not the author of confusion, and that's why when life is lived His way, it brings greater clarity. Simply reading God's Word, for example, can dissolve confusion. But many adult children spend far too much of their spare time watching television, looking at their computers, or engaged in other forms of entertainment, and far too little time with God praying and reading His truth, His Word. And anyone receiving more input from the media than they are from God can wind up wandering without a sense of purpose. When God's voice is drowned out, and there is no true guide, they can easily be headed in the wrong direction. Having a sense of purpose in life doesn't necessarily mean your adult children know every detail about what they should do and where they should go, but they will have an inkling regarding some particulars. They may not know exactly what they want to do in life, but they will know, for example, that they will want to go to college or to a trade school to become educated and skilled at a profession. Some adult children without a sense of purpose don't even have a leading in their hearts about that. Without any leading from God, they can become aimless or they may pursue something that will ultimately be wrong for them and end up wasting precious years of their life before they figure it out. Without a leading from God about what to do, they can become afraid to step out and do anything at all because they fear they might fail. But when they have that leading from God, even though they may have thoughts of possible failure, it doesn't stop them from moving ahead with what God is calling them to do. Middle school and high school experiences can do a great deal to harm a teenager's sense of purpose. If they are made fun of or humiliated for any reason, it destroys their sense of who they are. If they feel unacceptable in comparison to others, they may have a harder time discovering and learning to value their unique talents and gifts. When every day is an endurance test and they are just trying to survive, they can fail to establish a sense of purpose. Your adult child may have had a sense of purpose from the time he or she stood up in his crib, or you may have a 30-year-old hanging around your house because she has moved back in for the fifth time after another job didn't pan out, or perhaps your child never moved out in the first place at which point I would suggest getting yourself a pair of knee pads because you are going to need them to involve yourself in some fervent intercession. In fact, I would say to take a day every month to fast and pray about that adult child. Ask God to break down any barriers keeping him from receiving a vision for his life and a sense of God's purpose and calling. Allow me to suggest that an adult child who continues on with no sense of purpose is a dangerous thing. Kids who take drugs, drink habitually, commit crimes or go on murderous rampages or commit suicide don't have a strong sense of purpose. If they did, they would not do anything to violate that purpose. 
They would not want to get off the path God has for them. But those are extreme examples. And I'm not saying that people who lose sight of their purpose and get totally off the path God has for them never had a purpose. They do. But things can happen in life that bring great loss, sadness, discouragement, and confusion. And they may need godly counsel, comfort, and ongoing prayer to help and guide them. If your adult child doesn't seem to have a sense of purpose right now, don't be worried by it. Instead, trust God to give that to him or her because you are praying for it. But if it doesn't happen right away, don't stop praying. I know wonderful, godly parents whose son didn't seem to have any sense of purpose at all. He was a believer, raised in a dynamic Christian church, and had godly friends all around him. I have known this family from the time their son was about six years old, and he could not have had a more wonderful home and upbringing. After high school, he didn't want to go to college or do much of anything else. His parents prayed and prayed for him to have a sense of the calling God had on his life. A couple years out of high school, he was still not working or getting any further education. But then he went on a mission trip with his church and the Holy Spirit broke through. He came home from that trip with a vision for his life to help others. He went to college, got a bachelor's degree, and then a master's degree, and then he met a wonderful girl and got married. He has now completed a doctoral program and is employed in work he loves. All this happened because he got a vision for his life and a strong sense of purpose from God. Some kids take longer than others to find their calling. That's not necessarily a bad thing or a reflection on the parents or the adult child. Everyone has their own path and their own timetable. Don't beat yourself up. If you see your adult child struggling to find his or her place in the world, you can pray and strongly encourage and get him to talk about himself and the dreams, hopes, ideas, likes and dislikes he has. Tell him how much you love and admire him. Tell him the good traits and gifts you see in him. Ask God to reveal what you need to see about your adult children. Try to steer them away from sitting in their rooms all day, listening to music or staying on their computers. This will not help them discover their purpose. It will instead put them into a brain fog. If they're going to live in your house, make them part of your household. Give them chores to do and have expectations of what they are to contribute, just as you or your spouse or whoever else lives there is expected to do. Require them to live by your rules. Having low expectations for adult children doesn't do them any good, just as having expectations that are too high doesn't either. I can see why parents allow their adult children to live with them so long when they are not working. It's cheaper, and at least you know they are safe. But there comes a point where a line must be drawn. For example, saying, yes, you can stay here, but you have to be either working or going to school or both. You can't be doing nothing. An adult child will not find her purpose lying in front of the TV or a video game. She will not find it sleeping all day and staying out all night with her friends. She may not find it working in a fast food restaurant either, but at least while she is working there, she may realize what her purpose is not. And that will help in the process of elimination. However, your adult children cannot live with you forever, even under these circumstances, for then they will never discover what God has for them. Unless they are handicapped and need your full-time care, at some point they must start living the lives God has called them to. You and they will not be happy until they do. Pray for your adult children to have a sense of purpose from God because it will propel them to do whatever they need to do in order to fulfill that. An adult child with no sense of purpose 
will do nothing, but an adult child with a sense of purpose will do whatever it takes to get where they need to be. Every adult child needs a sense of direction, even if they don't know their exact purpose. They need to take steps in some direction, and you want it to be the right one. Our adult children can have a sense of direction and yet still have difficulty making decisions. When they can't make decisions and choices about important things, we need to pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon them to help them think clearly and figure things out. And we must keep praying until they have their answers. For example, one of the most important things our adult children need to hear from God about is direction regarding their life's work. Without a leading from Him, they can struggle, flounder, and wander for years, going from job to job, and from frustration to disappointment to doubt to despair. We want them to find purpose in each job they do, even if that purpose is simply to cause them to say with certainty, I'm going to go back to school and get more training or a new degree because I definitely don't want to end up doing this for the rest of my life or saying I'm going to take what I've learned at this job and apply it to the next. The point is to find that balance between gaining experience and wasting their time on something God is not blessing. The first five chapters of this book talk about asking God to pour out His Spirit upon our adult children, to help them develop a heart for Him, His ways, and His Word, to give them wisdom, discernment, and revelation, to set them free so they can become all He made them to be, and to enable them to develop a clear sense of purpose. Praying in these five ways will lay a foundation in your adult children's lives that will not only help them to understand how God is calling them to serve Him, but will also reveal to them what their life's work is to be. Too often, adult children can't find the direction God has for their lives with regard to their work because they don't hear from Him. Without a God-given vision, they can move aimlessly. Your prayers can help them to find all of that. Consider yourself blessed if your adult child already has a sense of purpose. All you have to do is pray that they don't lose sight of what that is and that God will continue to help them define it and enable them to take the right steps in order to see that purpose realized in their life. As I mentioned before, keep in mind that it is always possible for anyone to lose their sense of purpose by becoming overworked, overwhelmed, stressed, sick, disappointed, doubtful, traumatized, or by making a wrong decision, experiencing repeated failure, listening to a bad influence, or by becoming confused by the enemy. If ever you see that happening in your adult children, pray for them to hear the leading of God's Holy Spirit and get back on track. The Apostle Paul told the Ephesians he prayed that the eyes of their understanding would be enlightened so that they could know what the hope of his calling was. That's found in Ephesians 1.18. You can pray the same thing for your adult children Pray that their eyes will be open to see what God's calling is on their lives. Pray that they will understand that their purpose and calling will be realized as their relationship with the Lord deepens. Would you pray with me about this? Lord, I pray for my adult children to have a sense of purpose for their lives and the ability to understand that purpose with clarity. Give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that the eyes of their understanding will be enlightened. Help them to know what is the hope of your calling on them and what is the exceeding greatness of your power on their behalf. I pray that your plans to fulfill the destiny and purpose you have for them will succeed and not the plans of the enemy. 
Enable them to separate themselves from the distractions of this world and turn to you in order to hear your voice. Keep them from wasting their life pursuing anything that takes them off the path you have for them. I pray that every experience will lead them closer to you and further from anything that undermines your plans for them. Lord, show me how to pray for my adult children's purpose, direction, and calling. Give me insight and revelation. Bless the work of their hands in every way. Give them a strong sense of purpose so that they are led to the right occupation and are always in the job or position that is your will for their life at that time. Speak to them about what they were created to do so that they never wander from job to job without a purpose. Help them find great purpose in every job they do. Help my adult children to hear your voice so they have a word in their heart from you. Let it become a springboard propelling them in the right direction. Give them a strong sense of direction and purpose that transcends all fear, hesitation, defeat, and failure. When my adult children do have a sense of purpose, I pray that they will not lose it. Enable them to understand what is most important in life so they can always make good decisions and choices. In Jesus' name, I pray. You know, the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. It also says in Psalm 24, may he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. God says in Isaiah 65, 17 through 24, that he wants us to enjoy our work and not labor in vain. And that's what we all want for our adult children as well. That's why we should pray for them, that they will love God and get to know him well, and that they will enjoy the work of their hands and not labor in vain. My prayer for you is that your prayers powerfully affect your adult child's life. The younger generation needs our prayer covering more than ever. They are facing things we never dreamed of facing.